All right, we're, we're back Friday night. We were touching blah, blah, da, 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 all that kind of stuff. All right, so, um, <laughs> um, so we're, <laughs> we're going to start again. I haven't been here in a while, so we really don't know what we're doing like we did before anyway. But what were you going to tell? You're going to tell a story about uh, being on the hurricane? Yeah, well, oh, that we were, was, while we were down there, it went right. up the East Coast, so it churned up the ocean a lot. We got some big waves. <laughs> you just see them like, damn, when we see those at the Gulf, it's time to go home. Yeah, because there's a storm coming. <laughs> we had good weather, but the riptides Ooh. in there was kind of bad. So that's when uh, we yeah. did the tourist thing Yeah, remember, in St. Augustine. One of our buddies, uh, uh, another couple went with us, Rick and Kim. And uh, we was down there, and so Rick and I were up boogie boarding, because we're boogie boarders is what we do. And uh, so, the yeah, the current that was like a sideways current, you know, when you get up there, I mean, it was like, you had to walk, you know, like knee-deep water, and you're like struggling to walk. It's like, Actually, it's yeah, pretty it, wild. It wasn't quite up to your knee, but when the swell came up, it was, came up to like your chest. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, you're out there in your chest, like and the water goes down. Up. It's way down by your waist, and then it's way back up. <laughs> That's pretty fun, though. <laughs> he enjoyed it. Um, so we get to St. Augustine, and he's like, "You know, we can do the, like the self-guided tour." I'm like, "It's hot as hell. Are you sure you want to walk that whole thing?" Yeah, we get it. We get to the first stop right by the parking lot where we parked. And we go around, he's like, damn, it's hot. I'm like, <laughs> there's a kiosk right there for the hop on, hop off. Yeah, Trolley, go, let's do it. Let's go ride. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did that. The only other thing I think would have been as fun, I mean, we wouldn't got to learn about all the stuff. Uh, what was that guy named Flagler? Oh, yeah. Dude, Mr. Flagler had had the cash. He, he did what he wanted he to. He was an asshole. He did what they he greedy. wanted to. Yeah. He, he Yeah. He, you know, who has the gold makes the rules. Listen, we, I, I feel like we had the best um, trolley driver, though. Yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> about between every stop, he had to tell about his two-year-old daughter that he had, and he would really appreciate the tips because it's really hard taking care of a two-year-old daughter. The daycare alone is... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a whole four people And her it. braces. Oh, my God. I didn't know they were... <laughs> But then, but then when he got off, because he, he traded at one station, and when he got off, I'm mm-hmm. like, dude, you look like you're like 50. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you got a two year old? No, yeah, I was one of them. He got divorced. I was just second marriage. <laughs> Some young yeah, hot he thing whole decided, decided, going. decided to have yeah, decided to have him a baby. Well, she decided that she would. He didn't. He didn't know what he was getting into. All right. So listen, we suck so bad at this. We went through the first one and only had two beers, so we got fourteen more to go. So we'll uh, we'll swift it along. All right, yeah, yeah, we'll do better here. Oh, uh, okay. So this is Malva. Uh, um, sour ale with hibiscus, lavender, and vanilla beans. Oh, I don't even remember getting this one. God. Are you 5% sure this alcohol. Isn't the one you picked out. Brewed and packaged by 12 12% North Haven, what? Connecticut for Eskerhart Artisan Ales. Okay, so apparently 12% is is the pimp up there. <laughs> and so it gets all the little breweries and it says, "Hey girl, come on over here and I distribute for you." <laughs> and so that's what happens there. Which is fine. That's that's not a bad <laughs> <laughs> Put that back up here. I need to see something. Um, store, store cold, drink fresh. Okay. All right. So, Malva, a a artisan sour ale from somewhere in Connecticut. Ooh, looks like Kool Aid. Looks like it's gonna be dry. Look at that. Whew. Like a red wine. Hmm. Come on, vanilla. For real. <laughs> Hibiscus and, here. and lavender. Oh, here we go. It's freaking good. <laughs> it is. It it tastes. It it doesn't smell great. It tastes a whole lot better than it smells. Yeah, I think it smells okay. 
it, it tasted. I mean, I want to put ice cubes in the straw in it. I mean, <laughs> this is a this is sitting by the pool drink. Oh my gosh, that's good, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't taste like a beer. It doesn't taste like it have alcohol. Does it have alcohol in it? It tastes like it could be a sour. Yeah. When it grows up. Yeah, this is just, this is like like melted ice Kool Aid. How much alcohol is in it? Oh God, tell me it's like eight percent. That'd be the greatest thing in the world. Okay, all right. <laughs> um. That's not bad. That is that's. Mm-hmm. Definite possibility, right there. What if, what if the Suavecito beer of the week went to Connecticut? <laughs> so far, that's all the beers we've had. Yeah. Have been, what are we, this is like Connecticut? We have night. others. Connecticut week. Connecticut. Connecticut week. C T. <laughs> that is C T. Oh, if we you're go. keeping tabs on your tag. What if it was Massachusetts? It would be different than C T. What would it be? It would be M. Eminem. <laughs> What's Minnesota? I said Eminem. Oh. What is what is Minnesota? M. <laughs> <laughs> What's Maine? M A. <laughs> What's Massachusetts? M S. <laughs> What's Mississippi? M S. <laughs> it causes a lot of problems. We've talked about this before. <laughs> What's Michigan? Um, M.I. <laughs> What's Minnesota? Yeah, that's also M.I. <laughs> M.N. <laughs> well, you got two out of, <laughs> they, two out of they three, They really right? need to change some of those around because it's confusing when you see them on the road. What's and, Massachusetts? And they're all the same thing. M.S. No, that's Mississippi. <laughs> M, um, M.T. is Montana. Let's see. All right, so M.S. is Mississippi. M.T. is Montana. M.A. is Maine. M.E. is... <laughs> Maine. That's what it is. Is that what it is? Is M-E Maine? <laughs> no? M-E is Maryland. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> M-D is um, Maryland. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. M-D is Maryland. M-A is Maine. M-E is Maine. M I is Michigan. M S is Minis- is uh, Mississippi. M N is Minnesota. Uh, M T is Montana. Uh, I'm killing them now. I mean, I'm not, except for that damn Massachusetts. That, that, they don't. It's got to be M A. That's the only one left. <laughs> is that it? No. Is it okay? <laughs> Here's to you, Mass. You asshole. God, we need some wheel here. <laughs> I'm, I'm not drinking you know another I, half a glass. You know what I'm going to, if it comes up, you will. No, I won't. You know what I'm going to put on the wheel? I'm going to put states on here and you have to give the abbreviation. Okay. That'd be good. Oh, look at you. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I got you. 30% off. All right. Thank God. That worked out good. <laughs> Next one, we'll chug another one. <laughs> that magnet must have come off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. That is really good. If it had a little carbonation in it, it would be like There's a... carbonation It'd be it. like a... Mine does. It'd be like a regular drink. I mean, you know, not like a beer, like a drink drink. Like a, like a you know... Truly, or something like that. <laughs> Are those ice things I like that I've gotten into liking? Uh, that's pretty good. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're rolling. We're rolling. We got more beers. More beers. More beers. More beers. All right. Here we go. Sour Crusher. To sour crusher. Yeah. 
Like a boot crusher. This <laughs> is. <laughs> What's. <laughs> it's a lightly fruited, 5% alcohol, refreshing, crushable, crushable. We're catching on. When we do cran, cr- cran, 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 cran crushes, we're, we're doing uh, crushable, crispy sour <laughs> ale with raspberry and peach. And so... Read that all over again. Okay, all right. Lightly fruited, 5% alcohol by volume, refreshing, crushable, crispy sour ale <laughs> with raspberry and peach. And you can get your shingle shots at <laughs> Sam's. Uh, how much alcohol has it got in it? I don't know. Let's just open it Five. up. Five. Oh, that's right, because I said that. Guess Where's what? it from? Guess. Connecticut. 12%. Get out of here. <laughs> Did we go to the 12% store and not know it? Skygazer. Skygazer, yep. That's a Connecticut. So 12%'s got them all. Oh, hey, man, here, let me sell you beer for you. Uh, yep, Skygazer. 12% hot dog. Sour Crusher. So this must be Nancy's over there. It stinks. Have you tasted it yet? No, okay. but it stinks. Smells like it do stink. <laughs> smells like car fumes. Like in a third world country. I'm thinking some of that rainwater sat in a bucket for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Let's go Connecticut. Ooh. That's good. That, oh man, nothing like it smells. The peach on the end is just is wonderful. Yeah. Peach on the end is no, no, wonderful. Still, the first one is still mine. Ooh. That Saint Augustine bourbon may be mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. This is really good. I'm not even going to bring up marshmallows. What that would do for it. Marshmallows would make that creamy. That would have been. Mm. Apparently nobody likes to wash out their tanks after they've had marshmallows in it. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm liking that. I am liking that. All right. We're halfway in a beer, so what do we do? Oh, please. <laughs> it says drink this from the can. Really? Yeah. Well, let's do that because we have noticed there's a difference in drinking from a can and drinking from a glass. But I'm not seeing the alcohol content. Oh, yeah. Wait. No, that's not it. it yeah. I thought it was all there together when I read it. 5%. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's in big letters. That's why you couldn't see it. better from the can. What? Yep. NASCAR beer. (laughs) Mm -mm. I can't taste the peach as much in the can. Oh, really? From From the can, it doesn't really taste just tastes like a sour. No, no. I mean, I like I like how it tastes from the. Can. I mean, I like it, I like it both ways. But I like how it tastes from the can. All right, here we go. What what wonderful things will happen now? I'm not doing that. I'll chug what I got left. Why well, not saying you have to chug? I don't want to hurl all shit. <clears throat> The hell I will. No. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Do I it again. Do right. it again and keep your hand in, in okay, this Okay, way. all right, listen. You're, you hold the top of it. Uh, but listen, if I spin again, no matter what happens, you're going to you're gonna <laughs> go by the wheel, all right? Damn. Okay. I mean, 
Listen, it took me a long time to think of this crap, all right? Thirty percent off. All right. That was best for everybody. Okay. <laughs> the best thing that could happen was. Okay. Next. Thirty percent off. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh we're rolling through them now. Uh oh. Edmund's Oast. Yeah. <clears throat> Love me some Ed. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um. Edmund's Oast. Chocolate caramels, brown ale. Can't believe you just blew that in my face, you I disgusting didn't. ass I did thing. I do that? I'm sorry. I didn't know you were there. Um, chocolate caramels or caramels. <laughs> Listen, I always say caramel, but then caramel, the um, Rolo commercial got me messed up on caramel and caramel. You know. You can roll a Rolo to your pal. It's chocolate covered caramel. <laughs> and I'm like, well, is that what you're, what you're supposed to say it? Or is it just in a Rolo? I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, Edmunds Oast chocolate caramel, uh, brown ale brewed with chocolate, vanilla, and lactose. And it's from Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, those poor people. This would, oh, yeah, 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 it's hitting them right now. But listen, last week before it hit them and everything was good, we were watching uh, Southern Charm, and Nancy admitted. <laughs> no, said, I did she not. Said, she said, Steve, you sound exactly like them. Oh, I did and not. And I said, well, of course I do, because yeah. I'm from Charleston. Oh, my God. No, I'm Thomas <laughs> Ravenel from Charleston. How y'all doing? Y'all go play some polo? <laughs> Drink some beer? <laughs> so, so anyway, all right, so this is Edmund's Oast. Love Edmund's Oast. 5.8% alcohol. Um, and it's, it's all that stuff that I told you before. Some caramel and chocolate and lactose. So here we go. You got that for the home office? Oh, it's so Hmm. That's a, that's a bucket full of worms. Kind of smells like it, too, doesn't it? It smells like it's got some fabuloso in it. Hmm. Oh, God. It smells, me mine smells nah. metallic. Well, okay, that's, that's. That's, that's not, what I'm picking that's up. Not okay. Fabulous. All right, you ready? All right, you ready? 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 <laughs> it's not bad. Hadn't got a lot of. I don't taste a lot of caramel. I taste a little bit of chocolate. All right, hang on a second now. I mean, you're from Charleston. Does it taste like a chocolate? It looks like a Rolo. Look, you weren't here earlier, were you? <laughs> <laughs> it, that is a Rolo that they're showing right, there. Right, but I mean, they can't say that. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Chocolate does carrot. Does it taste that's like why, that to that's you? That's why I'm going, no. God, I would trade that for a Rolo any oh, day. Oh, come on. You know what I mean. Yeah, I'm, no, uh-uh. It, it, uh, I mean, it's got... I mean, it actually kind of does. If you breathe it out through your nose, not right now, after, right after you oh, swallow. Oh, oh, after I did it. But then that brown ale kicks in. <clears throat> yeah, that ale kind of, kind of on the tail end, kind of catches it, doesn't it? I, uh, I think it's good though. That's my my first taste. I didn't get it, but now that you <clears throat> coached me through it a little bit, I'm I'm better mm -hmm. with it. <laughs> that should be a Thomas Ravenel drink I'm from Charleston. <laughs> okay. I want to be careful before you fill that glass up because I'm fixing no. to grab the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not going to be dumb about it. Yeah, you are. No, We're in beer tasting. We're gonna be stupid about this. <laughs> we are stupid about this. Do you wanna you want you wanna hold it? Or you wanna spin it? I'll hold it. it. Right. You spin it. All right, here we go. You ready? Here's, here's my. Uh, here, are you ready? Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Please, Steve. Yes. Steve. Yes. Steve. Half a glass, baby. No, no, that's not what it is. What is it? Steve tells a joke. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any jokes. I'm not going to tell any. Well, you'll have to think of one. So Nancy and I went to, out to this fancy restaurant one time, 
And so we're having, the, we're sitting there drinking and uh, having our dinner. And uh, Nancy drops her spoon, drops her teaspoon because she was oh stirring God. up her little, her little tea there. And uh, you're supposed to enjoy this too, okay? It's so call the waiter over. Right, I'll do it right quick. Call the waiter over. Say, hey, drop your spoon. Need one. He reached in the pocket, grabbed the spoon, said, here you go. I'm like, dang, how did he have that spoon already? So he came back around and said, hey, how'd you already have that spoon? Because I noticed everybody else has a spoon too. He said, well, we uh, we kind of noticed everybody. If you drop something, it's gonna, probably going to be a spoon. So we all carry a spoon in our pocket. And so that way, you know, we, we pretty much good chances that we're going to take care of you right away. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, I also noticed something else that I didn't really want to bring up, but unless all the guys have a string hanging out of their zipper. <laughs> and he goes, well, yeah, that's pretty observant of you. And I said, well, what gives? He goes, well, he said, another thing, because we, you know, uh, uh, we focus on service and speed, you know, so we can't be in the bathroom a long time, so we have that string, and it's, you know, tied around it, and so when we go to the bathroom, unzip, pull the string, you know, and... and and so the whole thing behind that is that we don't have to wash our hands when we're done with the bathroom and all. And I said, oh, well, that, oh hey, wait a minute. So I understand pulling the string, getting it out, but um, hey, put it back in and all. I mean, I don't want to, you know, I want to be too personal with you and all. But, and he goes, he looks around and he goes, well, I use my spoon. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so that's all of, that's all of uh, uh, version two of this.